Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will talk about the concept of cutoff wavelengths of a single mode fiber. What is cutoff wavelength? Simply put, for a single mode fiber, its cutoff wavelength is the shortest wavelength. Above this wavelength, only one mode, the fundamental LP01 mode, propagates. The fiber is a single mode fiber. Below this wavelength, higher order modes such as LP11 mode will propagate. The fiber becomes a multi-mode fiber. The cutoff wavelength is an important parameter for single mode fibers because it determines the wavelength range of its operation as a single mode fiber. Here is a formula to calculate the theoretical cutoff wavelength of a single mode fiber. Lambda C is the theoretical cutoff wavelength. A is the radius of the fiber core. N1 is the refractive index of the core. Vc is normalized frequency. Delta is the refractive index difference between the fiber core and the cladding. The typical cutoff wavelengths for 1.3 micron single mode fibers range from 1.1 to 1.28 micron. This is designed in order to avoid model noise and dispersion problems. However, for practical single mode fibers, the actual cutoff wavelength is not exactly as the previous formula defined. Cutoff wavelength defines a borderline between the presence and the absence of the LP11 mode. This borderline depends on the power in the LP11 mode, but its power is spread largely beyond the core and is easily lost due to even small imperfections in the fiber structure such as bands and microbands. So in practice, the actual cutoff wavelength is usually much shorter than the theoretical cutoff wavelength. To determine the actual cutoff wavelength of a single mode fiber, optical fiber manufacturers use the transmitted power method. The left side figure shows the testing equipment setup. The right side figure shows the fiber under test. The test sample is a piece of 2 meters single mode fiber wrapped in a single turn with a diameter of 280 millimeter. To determine the cutoff wavelength by the transmitted power method, the transmitted power versus wavelength for the sample fiber is compared to the transmitted power versus wavelength for 2 meters of a multimode fiber. The equation is shown in the right side figure. Here, AM is attenuation difference. PS is the power from the single mode fiber under test. PM is the power from the reference multimode fiber. To determine the cutoff wavelength, the attenuation difference AM is plotted against wavelength. A straight line is fitted to the long wavelength back slope of the plot and dropped 0.1 dB. As shown in this figure, is subsequent intersection with a curve defines the actual cutoff wavelength, lambda CF. So there you have it. Please leave your comment below if you'd like to see other topics covered. Don't forget to visit foforsale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I hope you learned a thing or two from this tutorial. I will see you in the next